that way. There's something here. Yeah. Um, it's the spot where I was catching the crucians, but I don't think it's a crucian. If it is, it's a muscly crucian. Jesus. on the far side. I didn't have the video switched on I'm afraid so is it a tinge? Hi again. Well I've managed to wean myself off Erith. Um, lovely lake but I couldn't keep fishing the same spot so um, today I've come back to what I call the clay pit. Now I haven't done very well here in the past. Um, Small roach and rud have been the only catches. But I came over on Sunday, um, Tuesday today, and really to see if there were some people fishing and to see if I could get some tips. Well, there were quite a few people fishing. Um, most of them were sort of the spots and pots brigade after the carp, so that doesn't interest me. So um, I didn't even bother asking. Um, I watched another guy who seemed to be just straightforward ledgering but a fair distance. But then I bumped into a chap who had just arrived and he was going to fish the pole, which was more akin to what I would be doing float fishing normally. So I chatted to him and um, he was going to fish quite near the car park and out by some reeds and he said he had caught lots of tenshia, lots of carp um, and crucian carp. Um, <laughs> so obviously people do succeed here but um, he started talking about baits and he was talking about something called um, is it swim stim um, when I looked blank he, he was a bit amazed really I didn't know what swim stim was but it turns out it's some form of ground bait that you can mix quite um, firmly and use on the hook bait and he also um, was talking about um, cat meat <laughs> Uh, and he said, you must get the one in the gravy, not the one in the gel. So, um, well, needless to say, I've got none of those, or neither of those today. So, um, I've just set up all my normal sort of stuff. My uh, red flake, uh, got some maggots, and um, I actually bought some luncheon meat, some flavoured luncheon meat. So, um, I was sort of uh, tipping my um, hat a little bit to what he said. But the other thing he said was, um, I don't know if you watched previous videos, but I did a bit of a a walk around this lake and there were a couple of ponds which had been formed when they sort of smartened up the lake and I assume they were for the children. Um, anyway he said oh no no not at all there's some really big tench and carp in those small ponds which I found quite amazing. But anyway um, I'm going to take him at his word I'm on one of the ponds at the moment and it is a bit like fishing the village duck pond it's a bit bizarre. <laughs> Um, I did look round here on Sunday and sure enough there were a couple of guys fishing here, both with, with youngsters, so that sort of supported my theory that it was really for the kids more than um, for the adults if you like. But nonetheless I'm going to give it a try. I, I've tackled up with a float to start with but I've also brought the ledger rod and I've put a bit of ground bait over by the reed so I'll show you the swim in a minute. And, um, We'll see what happens, but he said he's caught big tench and big carp out of these small ponds, which I find quite amazing, really. But we will see today. Um, I'll give it two or three hours in these ponds, and if, if I don't succeed, I did spot a swim round on the main lake, it'll be very inviting. I may go around there for the last two or three hours. So, enough chatting, let's get started. So, here we are. Um, as I say, it's a bit like fishing a village duck pond. There are two of these. Um, one just over there as well. No, I tell a lie, there's another one down there. Um, there's two of these ponds. This one's a little bit wider, so I've chosen this one. I'm going to be a little bit further away from the reeds on the other side. I saw a fish uh, splash on the reeds on the other side, and there's a little bit of movement now and again in the reeds. Um, fortunately, really, it's a very blustery day, but of course, this little corner is absolutely um, calm, which is lovely. Um, so, Starting off with a little bit of bread flake, I've put ground bait around that sort of corner there and um, we'll see if this guy uh, with his tench and his um, carp and everything else in it. He did make a comment actually, he said, um, 
he said if you um sorry i turned around quickly there there was people talking behind me um yeah he did say if if he said to me if you can't oh that wasn't that your cast the wind's obviously catching the float Yeah, this could be tricky. I'm going to need a heavier float, aren't I? The wind's catching it. Oh, that's better. Yeah, yeah, sorry, that was all a bit disjointed, that pit, wasn't it? Sorry about that. There's people walking behind chatting, and um, I wasn't casting very well. That was my first attempt. Um, I've got the measure of it now, I think. Anyway, um, what he said to me was, if you can't catch fish in those ponds, you must be fishing without a hook. So, <laughs> we will see. But, of course, I'm not using his swim, whatever it was, swim stim, and I'm not using his um, cat meat in gravy, so that may make a difference. I must admit, when I was watching the, the two guys with their youngsters here, I watched them for about 10 minutes, quarter an hour, and there was another younger guy, a, a bit older, um, a, a youth, if you like, and he was he was ledgering in this pond down the other end, and um, in the quarter of an hour I was here, they didn't catch anything, so um, perhaps it's not as prolific as, uh, as the first guy told me, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Well, it looks like he was right. Um, this is my second cast, and I think it's a small carp, but <laughs> not a bad start, considering every every time I've been here, all I ever caught is little tiny roach and mud. So, um, a bit of a job keeping it out of the reeds, and it's not a very big one, so it'll be interesting if we get even bigger. But it's giving me a bit of a go. Fascinating. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's a nice looking colour. Hmm. Nice looking fish, nice looking common. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got to be careful, there's a lot of bloody stuff down in front of me here. Sort of broken my duck here, I suppose, today. So obviously fishing the village pond is um is more profitable than fishing the big lake. the hook out is literally just in the side of the wow and now it's gone through the lip hasn't it oh dear I have to pull it back through there we go all right so there she be it's a lovely fish there we go like an F1, isn't it? Really, I suppose. I don't know what. I don't understand all this F1 stuff. But um, it's a nice fish. Let's put him back in. Oh, that was a good start. I just turn the, um, the head cam on just to update you and um, of course as I did it and just took my eye off the float for a second when I looked back the float wasn't there. 
that's fishing isn't it anyway um why why i turned the um, head cam on was just to mention that the guy i spoke to on sunday who gave me all the tips actually turned up um so um we just had a bit of a chat with him and he was telling me where he had caught tench in this swim which is basically where my float is now and um, I think he's going to fish the other pond on the other side and yeah yeah what a coincidence um, so he was chatting to me for about 10 minutes so I didn't, didn't fish while he was chatting um, anyway as I say I, I turned the video on just to tell you that and then um, of course what happened the float had gone so um, so I must watch it because what happens is you don't get much you don't get much in the way of preliminaries it, it just disappears it was on bread flake again I've got some maggots um, as I say and I bought some flavoured luncheon meat which I can try he cautioned me about fishing near the reeds he said the problem is if you get a really big well not even a really big one he says you're going to have a job keeping it out and um, yeah, yeah I know all about that from fishing other places um, so he, he recommended where basically where I am now um, so unfortunately I put the ground bait a bit further nearer the reeds so perhaps make up some more in a minute and um, bait around where I'm fishing Interestingly, he didn't catch anything in that swim I saw him at on Sunday, which is a swim I fished last year, so it makes me feel a bit better. He's a sort of a um, bit of an expert over here, so if he couldn't catch fish in there, no. <laughs> as I say, it makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah, it's quite pleasant sitting here. I'm out in the wind. The sun's not too hot at the moment. Um, and the forecast is it perhaps is going to blow up for rain later in the day, so we just keep our fingers crossed. Well, I, I just put a bit of ground bait in because I'd put it in the wrong place basically. I've now put it where he's told me to fish, and, um, and I don't know whether it'll attract the fish, but it's attracted all these little fellas. <laughs> yeah, they came tearing across, but um, I don't feed them because I never get rid of them. It's a pity really, I'd like to feed them, but um, yeah, I would, I would never get rid of them. They are really cute. <laughs> but, um, they've got to learn, they're not going to be fed maybe later when I go, but not now. No, I'm not feeding you, I know, I know, it's terrible. But I'd love to feed you. But not today, because you'll be friends for life, and I don't need that at the moment. Yeah, I put all the first lot of ground bait out by the reeds over the back there, and um, he cautioned me about fishing there. He said, if you get a big one, you'll never get it out. And, um, I'll, I'll be guided by his um, wisdom. So I've now put a little bit out. I had to stop putting it out because it attracted these geese. If they disappear, I'll put a bit more out later. I was only thinking earlier that by fishing these little ponds you don't have all the wildfowl problems. <laughs> that was a mistake. I finally hooked one of those fidgety bites. I was fiddling about with it for ages and it finally went away. So what we got here? That looks like a crucian. Is it a crucian or a crucian hybrid? Explain the fiddly bites. Yeah, there's certainly a lot of crucian in it. Yeah, I think it is a crucian. Whoa, let me get out. Yeah. 
damn key. Yeah, it is a cushion. Uh, we have a cooking mix. Let's try with the wind. Mm. Yeah, so that's what the fiddly little bites are. Just tucked in the lip. Yeah, cushion cup. That's why we're getting fiddly little bites. Let's get this hook out of the way. Well, it is now piddling down. Um, I brought a golfing umbrella with me. And I dumped some of the stuff back in the car. Yeah. And there's thunder in the distance. So I'm hoping this is going to pass over. So I'm possibly um, pack up not in the rain, but um, it's not looking good. <laughs> They did say it would be showers today, so I'm hoping that's what it's going to be and we'll have a sort of chance to get dry again. Yeah, so the guy along there said he's had a nice tench today, so um, I've yet to um, encounter the fabled tench from this place. It's supposed to be a tenchy water, but I've yet to catch one, so... Um, well, the rain's gone as quickly as it arrived. Um, quite heavy for a while. But we've got blue sky now, so let's hope everything dries out before I have to pack up. <laughs> And we don't get any more rain. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting any more bites. It's gone very quiet. But still, I've done better today than I've done on any previous visit to this lake. Oh, it looks like a bite, or is it the more hen got my line again? No, it's a bite. Oh, and it feels good. It feels good. Ah, oh, it's come off. Oh, would you credit it? You credit it, you wait all the time for a bite and then it comes off. What a bore. What a bore. Oh well, that's fishing I suppose. Felt a good fish. I wouldn't like to say that it was a cardboard tench but Certainly felt a good fish. I've gone into something else which feels good. Just down by the edge that whoa whoa whoa. Ah, that's another cushion. They really go, don't they, the cushions? 
that other one I lost was a cruise and it must have been a big one. It's lovely weather now after all that rain. It's just drying everything out which is good. Quite dark golden sort of cushions here, dark fins. It's not very big but it really, really sort of had a go. Be careful, I don't end up dropping the landing in the water. Yeah, look at that, only just hooked. I wonder if I missed so many of them. Yeah, very dark backs and dark fins. And there we go. Let's bring it back. Well, I guess there's something here. It, um, it's the spot where I was catching the crucians, but I don't think it's a crucian. If it is, it's a muscly crucian. Jesus. It went flying over and tried to get in the reeds on the far side. I didn't have the video switched on, I'm afraid, so... Is it a tench? Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's a good tench. I wonder if it's giving me a battle. Oh, Jesus. It powered off over to those reeds. I didn't think I was going to get it out. Oh, the guy was right, there's good tench in here. Yeah, that's a fair old tench, isn't it? Way. Not even weigh that one. Just in the lip again. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm playing with fire today. Let's just undo this landing net handle. say 4.4 this net weighs about one and a half so it's a sh shade under three pounds that's a nice tench got a tench like this for a long time yeah look at that beautiful I'm not gonna lift you up because you're very slimy I'm gonna drop you. Okay, let's put you back in. I guess that's the fish I lost earlier was possibly a tench as well. You recovered now, aren't you? Come on, get yourself out. Yeah. Well, that was good. This is another tench, and it really trying hard to get into that side there. Ah. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Glad I used strong tackle today. Caught in exactly the same spot as before. This one feels bigger, if anything. It may be a carp, of course. I'm just wondering whether all that ground bait I put in earlier, they've just found it because... You know, I think it's a ten. Oh, certainly battle. Gee whiz. No, it's a carp, isn't it? Not a tench. I gotta say, it would be a fantastic blooming tench. That's all the fight is giving. God. It's not that big, is it, but... Fine, like a Trojan. Oh. oh, that was a battle. It's not massive, but what a fight. And it looks like that hook's just in the edge again, oh, I don't know, maybe not. <sighs> what a battle! Let's get you on the mat, shall we? Yeah, you're not very big, but crikey! Did you battle? That's a little bit inside the mouth. Oh no, it's almost on the edge, isn't it? Well, poor Mark's little carp. He went bananas. He went absolutely crackers. Yeah, alright, well, I'll put you back. You're still very lively, aren't you? This is probably my last cast. Um, it's gone three. I usually pack up about two or three, but um, I'm having good fun here, so I didn't. But, um, but yeah, um, probably make this the last cast. I just had a little bit of interest on the float, but I'll keep you on just in case in the next few minutes it decides to fly away. But, um, if it doesn't, this will be the. Um, as I say, the final cast before I pack up. It's been a good day though. I've had to wait uh, quite a long time between bites, but the fish, every fish I've caught has been worth catching. Um, yeah. I thought I saw a lightning over there. Perhaps I imagined it. Listen for the thunder. No. Imagined it. No, I don't think it's going to fly away, I'm afraid, so 
I wanted to treat you to one more um, one more fish before I packed up. Uh, there was certainly some interest when I cast in. That might have been small fish following the bait down. But, um, yeah, this is. Um, I, I've bought a season ticket for this lake, so and I did say on an earlier visit, although I hadn't done very well, I was hoping to give it um, a bit more of a try in the summer or the warmer weather. And it's certainly a different place. It's it's alive um, in in the sort of um, early spring and or late winter, whatever way you want to say. Um, it's a bit of a, a sort of somber place, but. Um, but it really is alive today. Very green, very attractive really. It could have been distant thunder, you know. I just heard a rumble, but it was an awful long time after the lightning. A long, long way away. Perhaps I missed the second bit of lightning. No, I think this is probably it now for today. I'll back up before the rain comes again, if it does. And um, it's been a good day. Keep saying a good day. I'm not really here all day. Good session. There's definitely a bite, it just dipped. Let's see if anything more positive comes of it. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> it went right under but there was nothing there. Oh well. So be it. Hi, um well I forgot to do a sign off um fishing on Tuesday. Um I was running a bit late and um I also wanted to just pop down and thank the guy who had um, given me the tips on the Sunday and also um, he had actually turned up on the day and um, on Tuesday and he gave me some more tips so um, yeah I, I sort of did that and um, came back uh, packed things away and forgot entirely to do the um, to do the sign off but the last clip of the video I think is is a sort of sign off really but um, yeah, I had a good day. I enjoyed it. The only thing I would say is that I, I've limited the video really to the action and um, there was a lot of quiet time. Um, I was there, what, I was there sort of probably six, six and a half hours and um, the video is only 30 minutes. So you can imagine there was quite a bit of quiet time. And um, yeah, I thought I'd just give you the action rather than a lot of infill. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it. It was my first real success on the clay pit. And um, if you did enjoy it, uh, I'd be grateful if you give me a like. And if you want to subscribe, obviously, please, please do. And thank you once again to all those who do subscribe and who follow me. Well, that's it. Until next time. Um, I've, I've bought a season ticket for the clay pit, so I'll probably go back there. Now I've found um, at least one of its little secrets. <laughs> Anyway, thanks a lot. It's um, bye for now, and until the next time, cheers.